Hey guys, this is Tessa, and today I'm going to be doing a foot massage for Chelsea. I'm um, going to include a few different techniques, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to start with just some simple compressions to introduce, you know, my touch and get everything warmed up. So it might not look like much, but this is a great way to increase blood flow and warm everything up. Just doing some nice compressions along the heels. Every time that I release that pressure, there's fresh blood flow. And it's just a really nice way to start. And you can kind of feel um, if there's any inflammation as you do these compressions. Whenever there is a swollen area, you don't want to do deep pressure. You want to just do some light flushing. And Chelsea was complaining of a little bit of foot pain, so just uh, there might be a little some spots that are a little swollen. Kind of starting to move into some more targeted compressions with my thumbs along the base of that foot. Working my way into the arch. This is a great way to just get more familiar with what's going on. And getting into the ball of the foot a little more. You're not going to be able to do deep work, really. But this is a great way to warm everything up. I'm going to get into some more detailed work. Um, I'm going to start at the bottom of the foot and I'm basically just bringing my thumbs from the center of the foot out to start working the soft tissue and the deeper tissue a little more. And you might begin to feel some crunchy um, crunchiness underneath your thumbs and that's a good sign. I like doing that maybe three times, just starting at the heel, working my way up. So just starting in the middle and pulling out with your thumbs. Once I get to the top, I'm going to start doing little circles. So, getting into the deeper tissue a little more. So, I'm just holding that pressure firm and I'm doing little circles. You can do this with one thumb, but it's a little harder. I like to use both of my thumbs. I'm just working my way along that foot, feeling for any muscle fiber that's kind of collected, and staying away from anything that feels swollen. I'm going to form a soft fist and start getting into this arch a little more firmly and focusing more on that upward motion than anything. And 
and just trying to apply nice consistent pressure as I work my my way up and again going in with some nice firm and going back and forth between different techniques is just the most fun way to work and it usually feels the best to your client or your friend so I'm gonna go back in with just some really firm compression work this isn't really compression work because I'm not holding but Firm pressure. This is great for increasing mobility and it's just great for general health of the feet. I'm just working my way down, noticing any tight contracted spots. And I'm going to start working my way up with my thumb. I will um, save this towards the end. It's a little more demanding using your thumb in this way. So I start along the arch and I'm working my way to the middle and then the outside of the foot. And I will work my way back the opposite direction feeling for any um, fibrous spots that feel kind of crunchy and just starting to strip some of that away. And I'll actually start kind of using one thumb a little bit more, just doing circles. Just a different way to work that soft tissue more, the ball of that foot. And you can't forget about the toes. So be sure that you're starting below where the toe actually is. There's a lot of um, stuff in there that needs to be worked on too. I'm working my way up. And just nice firm pressure. I like to actually do some little circles, create a little more space in those joints, but don't overdo it. And it really helps if you're holding on with your opposite hand to just be a little more steady. Just kind of pulling, nice way to and that kind of work and just a simple stretch. So I'm gonna hold Chelsea's foot and I'm gonna go ahead and press back just a nice simple stretch. This is great if your client suffers from plantar fasciitis. It stretches those tendons in the foot that can get really tight and inflamed but you don't want to overdo it. You can stretch the front of the foot, the ankle. And moving on to the opposite foot. So going in with those compressions to start. What's the time? And it may feel like you're not doing very much, but this is super healing, increasing blood flow, and warming up the soft tissue. Working my way along that arch, 
and paying attention to the upper side of the foot as well. There's really no, yeah, there's really no right or wrong way to do these compressions, just nice and firm and steady. And I like to pay extra attention to the ball of the foot just because it there's a lot of pressure that it um, undergoes every day. And I'm going to grab my oil. Just make sure that you have plenty of oil. The more the better, really, when it comes to feet. Now that everything is kind of warmed up, I'm gonna go in with my thumbs. And I'm gonna start on the bottom of the foot, at the heel, and start bringing my thumbs out. Feeling for any fibrous spots contracted spots, staying away from anything that feels swollen, but nothing really feels swollen. This is really hard to do working down, so I always start at the bottom of the foot. Just creating a little more space and this muscle fiber. And I'm gonna go in with the heel of my hand. Nice broad surface, feels really nice, especially for someone that, um, you know, has feet that hurt really bad. Really paying extra attention to the arch of the foot. I'm going to start with some just little circles. Okay. And just be sure, <laughs> just be sure that you feel comfortable working. Make sure that your shoulders aren't rounded too much and that your back is nice and straight if you're leaning forward. You definitely need to um, be, be body conscious as you're working if you're the one giving the massage. I'm just doing little circles, working my way down. And I'll start at the top of the foot and work my way down a few times. familiar with spots that feel like they need the deeper work. Uh, start on the arch and work my way all the way to the outer part of that foot. And then I'm going to work my way back to the arch. And you're able to get into the deeper tissue with this thumb work. 
and just kind of spending a little more time on the spots that feel more fibrous. And doing more circular motions on the ball of that foot. And working my way into toes. Just nice firm pressure. decompression for the toe joints just pulling firm firmly but not too hard can be a little slippery with the oil and doing a nice stretch for um, especially for anybody that suffers from plantar fasciitis, opening up that foot and those muscles. And if um, your client is in a lot of pain, hold for maybe a couple of seconds. Just kind of go back and forth. You can do this as many times as feels necessary. And I like to finish by opening up the ankle, stretching the front side of the foot a little bit. What's the time? is it for our massage today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day. If you enjoy these videos, please join us at PsycheTruthPatrons.com for dozens of exclusive videos and premium programs. We have over a thousand videos you won't find on YouTube, such as modeling and fashion hauls, exclusive massage videos, ASMR, behind the scenes, bloopers, and much more. It's a great way to help us keep the cameras rolling so we can continue making the content you love. Patrons will get two to three new exclusive videos each week, so I hope you'll consider joining our Patreon family today. Just visit PsycheTruthPatrons.com. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.